They call me Hank, and I'm here in the mountains of Sintra, Utah, at roughly 7,000 feet from my fourth annual foraging expedition, September 1st, 2012. This year, I wanted to focus on gathering nutrients on the go, carrying as few items as possible in my backpack. Ideally, I would want to find a spring or a seep like this one, because if you're not able to start a fire in order to boil water, this is the safest place to get a drink. But today I'm heading downhill in search of a stream, and I'll be lucky to find any water at all. The drought this summer has definitely taken its toll on the land. Wild currant berries, which are usually available this time of year, are now barren. When I'm on the go and can't set traps or hunt, I do like to check rotted logs and stumps for beetle larvae or large amounts of ants and ant larvae, which are safe to eat and quite nutritious. Uh, the only ants I found in this particular area produce formic acid as a defense. It's quite disgusting and, unfortunately for me, makes them inedible. Beware of caterpillars and millipedes. Certain types of them are deadly poisonous. While my search for food has been less than successful, I am in luck. The stream in this canyon has water in it. After a quick dunk to cool off, I decided to start a fire, using a stick of magnesium with a flint steel rod attached. First I scrape off a bit of the magnesium into a pile, then I strike the flint to spark it up. This should be enough of a fire to boil water if I stack rocks around it to keep the heat in. Aluminum cans contain a plastic liner called BPA, which can break down at high temperatures and contaminate your drink. But at fractions of a part per million of BPA, I'll take my chances versus the possibility of bacteria in the stream. The water from the can was surprisingly good after it cooled off, but I am going to have to eat something soon. I dug up some worms. Um, these are going to be a little snack to keep me to keep me going through the day. Earthworm one, a little scratchy. Earthworm baby one. Earthworms are an excellent source of protein. They do need to be soaked in water for at least 15 minutes to remove the dirt from their systems before they're safe to eat. All right, I've got water, I've had some food, and I'm on the move. Before too long, I run into some dandelion. Easily recognized and widely distributed, the health benefits of dandelion go on and on. And I could really use the carbohydrates. Raw dandelion is pretty bitter, so I decide to make dandelion soup. I toss in a few juniper berries for the additional nutrients, uh, use some water from the stream, and voila. Dandelion soup was a lot like drinking a cup of tea and then also eating the tea bag. Uh, the carbohydrates did help my energy level. And after a brief rest, I'm ready to continue on.